A good defense weapon is something you can hit an intruder with, okay? All right, stay the hell away from the broomsticks. They're too light, they're too damn long, and they flex too much, all right? Baseball bats are nice. They're even two pounds is too heavy, including the aluminum ones. What you want is something short and very wieldy, and that's this right here. This is an aluminum square tubing from Lowe's, three foot long, three quarter inches, and weighs about six ounces. And let me tell you something. You hit somebody with this, nine times out of ten, you're going to catch them on the edge there. You're going to crack or break some bone or knock them out, okay? If they charge you, jam this in right there into the face or into the stomach. And that's going to cause some damage right there as well. Go to Lowe's, check it out, and see what you think. And I guarantee you, you'll walk out, out of there with this. Another thing you might be thinking is, well, you may want to grip on one end or the other for your hands. You don't. First of all, this will have no vibration in it at all. Watch this. No, it doesn't. You can't feel any vibration at all because it's not wide enough. And it grips nicely because of the, um, uh, the square effect around your hand. Okay, and another problem with putting a grip on either end, you want something you can grab and start fighting with immediately. You grab this metal end and you've got a rubber grip with some tape on that end, you're not going to do any damage to the intruder. If your significant other objects to it, buy it anyway, bring it home, and give him the choice of being hit with this, the baseball bat, or the broomstick. Guess which one he's not going to want you to hit him with. Have a great day. TikTok's little Puda, uh, a.k.a. Hannah, asked if there was anything she could use for a defensive weapon for a small woman in her car or out for a walk. In the car, I can suggest just keep the doors locked and don't let anyone in. Don't stop where you don't have to. But as far as walking and defensive weapon, I've got a great suggestion. But first, I need to explain to you why I'm taking this route. A lot of jurisdictions now are making it nearly impossible for women to protect themselves. Most places it's illegal to carry mace. Uh, we had a female friend years ago, had five key rings to put together where she could walk around with the keys between her fingers. She literally got stopped by an officer told her she had to take them off because that could be considered brandishing a weapon. So what we need is a good defense weapon is highly camouflaged. Here's my thoughts on it. This here is a three foot long aluminum square stock tubing that I made a video out of on the purpose of home defense. I made a lot of uh, suggestions on do's and don'ts of how we want to keep it but since we're going to be using this out in the public, we want to keep it camouflaged. What we're going to build is an open can of whoop ass disguised as a walking stick. My home use video suggested not to put a grip or anything on either end for your hand because you don't know which end you're grabbing. Using this as a walking stick, we're always going to be carrying the same end, so we're going to get an inexpensive bicycle grip in place on there. Now we have a grip on here to make it more look like a walking stick and to hold on more tightly if our hands are sweating and to give our hand, a, of course, a little more cushion up there at the top when we're actually using it. Remember this blunt end that I said we don't want to cover up because it can actually cause some pain if we uh, jab our intruder with it. Well, we're actually going to cover this up, but watch what we do here. We're going to take a tennis ball and we're going to cut a small X into the top of it so we can push our tubing down inside. Here's our X that we've cut on top of the tennis ball, and now we're going to slide the tennis ball over the bottom of our tubing. Here's our tennis ball covering the bottom, and we don't, we don't want to put any tape or anything that will attach it. Pressure alone will keep it on there, and it will cushion our walking stick as we go along, and it will make it you know, dampen the sound of it also tapping on the ground. But one great thing about this, if you go to swing this rod, this is what we want. So we can get it. That tennis ball is going to slip right off of there and expose our blunt, our blunt end. Previous videos I've made of this and keeping this in the house, a couple people mentioned sharpening the ends down. I think that is an excellent idea. However, since you're going to be out in public with this thing, I wouldn't recommend it because if anyone does a real close inspection on it and sees the end sharpening, they're going to know immediately you're using it as a weapon. Doesn't have to be sharp, but if you jam somebody with this in, it's going to put a hurting on them. You're going to spend about $20 on this thing, and maybe 
20 minutes worth of work. So look what we have now. We have a nicely disguised walking stick. And the next step that you need to do is paint it, put little designs on it, make it look nice and pretty and absolutely harmless.